to my party We're just getting started A life is a dream or a nightmare starring Hand me a drink cause I think I'm going all in Get me a shrink who can catch me when I'm falling Cover up my scars, flip the handle Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel Today we will see how to project a replicable pattern onto any surface which we will uh, we'll now refer to as the main surface <coughs> let's have a look to the code so we start um, creating a grid of point um, with the following parameter we will define the uh, grids wide and the number of modules in the x and the y direction now <coughs> we'll draw any curve in Rhino like this and I import it here uh, in inside this parameter curve here that intersect the grid I want to move the starting point of the grids, the starting points of the grid upwards and I want the points to be moved upward more the closer they are to the curve. To achieve this, we'll use this combination of components. For each point, we'll identify the point on the curve closest to it. Using curve closest point and uh, calculate the distance. The distance is an output of curve closest point. We'll then take the list of distances and determine the numerical domain to contain all of them with bounds, the common bounds, and then <coughs> finally we remap the series of values. Uh, starting from the found domain and projecting it onto a domain ranging to, uh, from 0 to 1 so from the source domain is the output of the bounds and uh, the target domain is 0 to 1 so we can easily in enter into log mapper now <coughs> this value can be fed into a graph mapper um, to which I lapped an inverse proportionality graph so that shorter distances correspond to either output values now I amplify the output value from the graph mapper and move the points so the, the points of the grid that have been flattened in the z direction Base it on the values from the multiplication component. So I amplify this value here, move in z direction, and this is the result. So this is these are the points that of the grid that have be that have been moved by these values, the values coming from the amplifier. So the multi the multiplication component after the group mapper. So inside the move component we have the new collection of point <coughs> points which consists of points translated vertically by varying amounts based on their position relative to the curve I drew in Rhino. Now Um, all that's left is to happily apply the command from the flexibility plugin surface from point UV and um, here is the results so now we have the main surface fully done complete <coughs> Okay, we, we have created the surface. Mm, let's focus on the <coughs> geometry of the pattern. T 
to do this we will use the command from the parakeet plugin that you can find in uh, food for rhino parakeet plugin um, <coughs> And um, we use this command that is uh, called to uniform tiling C and assign the same inputs EX and EY as the initial grid. So we use the same parameter of the initial grid. for the value of e x and e y now <coughs> we will construct a bounding rectangle here that contains our geometry and convert it into a surface using this uh, boundary command boundary rectangle and boundary this is the power basically and so we are going to include insert this this pattern inside a B re, uh, bounding rectangle and then inside a boundary surface now that we have the main surface the pattern and the supporting surface we can apply, apply the map to surface component from parakeet map the surface which allows us to project the pattern onto the main surface so we have here we have a, li a require a core a list of core and uh, we give to it uh, the output of two the uh, two tiling two uniform tiling <coughs> in s we have, we we give the support sur surface so the the one coming from our uh, boundary and in target surface we give the main sur uh, surface that uh, came from surface from point <coughs> and basically this is the result Um, then we are going to clean the curves we obtain we, we are going to explode the curves <coughs> and clean the results using this combination of code that I have already used in uh, other videos so you can see uh, that videos and then I will use uh, a multi pipe component only using two parameters uh, in order to give uh, uh, 3D mm, dimension to the powder, and uh, here is the results. Um, if you enjoyed the video, I ask you to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. I wish you a good day and productive work.